I wish to state na kusema ya kwamba tuko na ma officers wa police who are very professional. 98% we have no issues with them. Maybe just 2%. And we are really being assisted by the commission, the IPOA, other oversight bodies. Again, we have the critical mass within the police to manage the 2%. But we are very professional police service. Kwa hivyo, our kora wako kule inji, wanafikiri watatisha, watatishia maisha ya wana inji. That will not happen. Mukora ambea anafikiri ya tatembe na kisu huko inje, anandunga mwana inchi na kisu kwa kisu. Mukora hako na bunduki, utaumi, uta, utaumi, uta, um, utafanya mwana inchi mutukufu wa umie, that will not happen. I'm from the college, that's why I've been the commandant. And I will tell you, our officers are very clear to when they are allowed to use a fire. And it is in law under the police act. Five instances. When any police officer is life is in danger, or any other person, the life is in danger, a police officer is justified to use a fire. When protecting life or property, if there is eminent, eminent danger or threat, a police officer can use a firearm. If it is in self-defense or defense of another life because of eminent threat from, you know, to life or serious injury, a police officer can use a firearm. Anybody who is charged of having committed a felony, a serious offense, murder, rape, manslaughter, imprisonment for over three, you know, where well, the law provides imprisonment over three years, that person attempts to escape, a police officer can use the fire. Again, the last one, the fifth one. If a police officer has arrested somebody charged for having committed a felony. Then you attempt rescuing that person. You attempt, the law says, a police officer can use a fire. Therefore, the, the officers are aware. And any police officer who uses ace or a fire under those circumstances, we are there to protect that officer.